this little video um, to demonstrate the differences between the Anderson power pole connectors and the Dean's connectors. I know we have a lot of postings out there related to our heli hobby as to which is the better connector. Um, basically better is uh, which you choose to use for your preference but uh, I'll go over the quick differences uh, between the connectors, my feelings on the connector and uh, also I'm going to take uh, or try to take all three of these uh, connections to failure point and uh, determine what current they fail at and what voltage drop occurs across each connector at uh, various amp loadings. So we'll start off with our uh, Dean's connector. Uh, again, current rating on the website is kind of undetermined, but uh, as you can see, it's a solder type connector with male and female pins and sockets on each end. Uh, biggest complaint about these, uh, especially on the high voltage helis, is the arcing that occurs, occurs across the contactor. Um, one of the ways I've been able to uh, prolong or give better service life out of the connector on the high voltage connections is I'll take the positive terminal, put that together and hold a little pressure on it, give a little twist to the connector so the male makes up with the end of the female at first. So when you first make up uh, the connection your ESC capacitors will arc but they're actually arcing on the very tip or end of both connections and once you get the arc you just give it a little rotation to the opposite way and they plug right in. Um, right now I'm using Dean's connectors on my 600 logo running 10S and uh, I really had no corrosion or arcing track down the flats both on the female end and on the male end. I do use a cleaning kit every uh, month or so to clean up the terminals and uh, they've stood up uh, quite well. Um, if soldered correctly they're not really that hard to pull apart and put back together and uh, for up to uh, 10 gauge wire I think they uh, do function quite well. 8 gauge is uh, quite a bear to uh, solder and poses its other problems. The other connector that we're referring to is our Anderson power poles and with the Anderson power poles um, we have a genderless type connection. When this is crimped on the wire and inserted into the plastic connector when they make, it's the first tips that make, they slide up over each other and they settle kind of in that position when both connectors are mated up. Um, there is the possibility of arcing or metal splatter getting carried up over the ridge and on the back part uh, compromising your connection on the back but uh, again, that's yet to be seen. I don't personally use these. I know people swear by them. One thing I am kind of concerned about is the robustness of the contact. Um, the Dean's terminal or spade is fairly thick compared to the uh, Anderson power pole, at least the 40 amp um, connection. Um, the surface area as long as the Deans is clean is significantly more than the Anderson 45 amp power pole connector. So again, uh, the test when I take these to failure will kind of determine um, who can carry the most current without a current loss. And again, here's a 45 amp connector made up. And they plug together. They have the little wiping motion before they finally make uh, full engagement. And the larger connector probably the one I would recommend highly for a 600, 700, 800 class electric heli is the 75 amp uh, Anderson power pole. As you can see the contacts are significantly thicker and heavier and again same wiping motion the arc would occur on the tips and as you plug the connector together it rides over and settles into a contact position kind of like that. Unfortunately, the 75 amp Anderson power pole connector is fairly large in size, but again on a 7-800 class electric machine it should not be a real problem. Um, the other thing I kind of noticed about the Anderson power poles is the contactor can have a tendency to sit off-center. 
in the connector. On this one it's fairly centered. On this one it's slightly off center. But there is enough contact surface area where it shouldn't be a problem. And again, just for size reference, there's a 45 amp plug next to a 75 amp plug. Now these are uh, an industry standard connector used in the radio and electronics industry and and power distribution. I mean for our hobby I would like to see a 75 amp contact with a housing that uh, is just slightly larger than the 45 amp housing to accommodate the 75 amp contact. But uh, again that's uh, our industry is a small part of the general electric industry and uh, I don't know if we'd be accommodated, but uh, this contactor on a 6-700 class machine with a slightly larger housing would be ideal. Um, we don't need the um, dielectric capacity of the larger 75 amp housing that uh, is rated for 600 volts AC uh, before it is considered unsafe to use. And uh, later on, we're going to test, like I say, each one of these connectors to failure. I'm going to run them on a 16 volt DC battery system and uh, have the capability of hopefully putting up to 400 to 500 amps through each connection. Uh, with today's batteries available to us, a 5,000 milliamp uh, pack with the 65C rating should be uh, in a 300 to 400 amp. Uh, burst capacity so all of these connections, I'm sorry about that, all of these connections should uh, at least the 75 amp should handle that burst wise um, we'll see if the 45 amp uh, Anderson power pole connector can handle it and we'll see how the Dean's fares and then I'll just take the current up to the point where uh, they either melted the connections at the solder or the contactors themselves uh, heat up due to resistance and uh, melt the connector so we'll see that, how that testing goes. Okay, it wouldn't be fair to leave out uh, two other style connectors. Uh, they're both uh, bullet style connectors. I'm not going to be testing these to failure because I only have one set of these and the other set I'm using on my motor. I'm going into a scale heli. But the EC5 connector has a blue plastic housing, male and female. It's indexed so you cannot uh, get the orientation backwards. One side's got a, uh, a flat on it. The connectors themselves, the uh, brass bullets, have uh, solder cups in each end so the wire would get inserted and soldered in there. And uh, they may sleeve to a pin in this manner. Um, they do have a, a quite a bit of friction going together, but uh, not excessive. I'm sorry, the autofocus keeps going in and out. But one of the things that I'm kind of concerned about, even though there's a solid rod going up inside these uh, expanded springs, is the contact area. The, again, the pin is a little loose in the barrel before it makes up on the springs and uh, the barrel will reach the end of the chamfer on the pin so if the machining is correct it should sit something like this and this pin end should meet a chamfer inside the uh, inside the bottom of the sleeve so again you're re relying on the machining of the the barrel and pin assembly to uh, be correct but other than that most of your current carrying capacity if this contact is dirty or the lip of this sitting on the chamfer is dirty is through all the little spring contacts um, possibility of greatly reduced current carrying capa capacity but uh, again people have used these with great success no problems there and the other connectors we have currently installed on uh, speed control in the motor is the castle uh, these are castle creations um, again pin and sockets um, but these are solid, solid solid metal pins that are split to provide the springiness on them they are very difficult to uh, assemble and disassemble um, I did have to unease sorry 
I did have to on these uh, actually do a little polishing on the pin to get the fit a little bit more manageable otherwise if they're installed in a heli it would be uh, next to impossible to get the pin and socket apart but uh, these are the other two style connectors again sorry during this test I will not test these to failure um, but uh, we'll continue with the Deans and the uh, Anderson test